meantime, I want to bring in Congressman Rob Whitman, a Republican from Virginia and member of the Armed Services Committee. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning, Chris. How are you? I'm well. You've come out against the sequester, and the White House says the military impact in Virginia would be 90,000 civilians furloughed from DOD, Army funds cut by 146 million, uh, the Navy canceling maintenance on 11 ships. What are you seeing? What are your big concerns? Well, my big concerns is, just as the president spoke of, the impact on Virginia's economy. We look at it and know that there could be up to 200,000 jobs affected by this, both direct and indirect, up to a $20 billion economic impact. I think that we have a pathway forward. There's been a lot of ideas shared about how do we reduce spending equal to the $85 billion that's needed to meet the sequester baseline. That can be done. I want to make sure we're back at the table, putting these ideas there, making sure we chart a path forward to make sure that our nation's defense and our men and women in uniform, as well as our DOD civilian employees and the great contractors that support our military, have what they need to do the job of defending this nation. So how do we get there? Your colleague, Congressman Riggle, is going to be with the president today. He has suggested, as Lindsey Graham has, that he might be open to revenue. Are you? Well, I want to make sure we look at, at, the, at the spending side of the equation. You know, we already have $600 billion in increased revenue. I want to make sure we look at the expenditure side. We've looked at that revenue side. Uh, we ought to be looking at reducing spending. Now, I think we can do that. There are a lot of ideas that have been put out there on the table. We don't need to reinvent the wheel on this. The president speaks of a balanced approach. Well, the balance is now to look at the spending side. There's $600 billion in new revenue on the table. Let's look at how we can reduce this budget. We're talking about reducing it by 2.4 percent. Just decreasing the rate of growth in the budget. We let can me, do let that. Me, uh, I am confident If I may interrupt that. you, Congressman, I want to go to, mm -hmm. uh, to Nancy Pelosi and then we'll get your reaction on the other side. This is live. Okay, thank you. And how it affects uh, individuals in our country. We've just come back from, what, a 10-day break. Uh, we've listened to members as to what they heard from the public and, and what our constituents are telling us is to get the job done. We're doing just that with a proposal under the leadership of uh, Chris Van Hollen, the ranking Democrat uh, on the Budget Committee. He'll talk about our proposal, which we have on, had on the table for a while. Our chairman talked about jobs. Month after month after month, the private sector job increases. Remarkable. That can be, that can be reversed if we have this sequester, which is harmful to growth and harmful to job creation, in addition to be harm, being harmful. For example, members told me about uh, psychiatric nurses who deal with PTSD of our returning vets who will be furloughed. Is that what the American people want? I don't think so. We're practically, when you talk about jobs, that's one thing. When you talk about time, we've been gone for 10 days, we've come back, we'll be gone by Thursday at 3 o'clock, when we have a deadline facing us, we're practically becoming a drive-by Congress, a drive-by Congress when we have important work to do. The Republican leadership says, well, we passed bills last year. I remind them that was a different Congress. That doesn't count in this Congress. The Republican leadership says, let the Senate begin. I remind them that the Constitution says that appropriations and revenue bills must begin in the House. We have important work to do. The American people want us to work together. We want something big, bold, balanced, and bipartisan uh, that can take us. The Republicans say they're kicking the can down the road. It's not kick. I don't think they're even kicking the can down the road. I think they're nudging the potato across the table with their nose. There's not much that is being accomplished by what they are doing. Now, this is just completely uh, 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 irresponsible. It's mindless. Most people don't even know what the word sequester means. Sequestration equals unemployment. Sequestration, we don't want it. And we can work here to make sure we get the job done. So again, I salute the President for taking the message to the American people. I believe what the Republicans are doing with their uh, sequestration, one deadline after another, little deadline after another, is a subterfuge to not getting the work done. We want to pass immigration reform. We want to pass gun safety uh, legislation. We want to create jobs. We have our important work to do here. We really do have a day job uh, instead of just this job uh, of avoidance behavior that the Republicans are putting forth. So again, let's be positive. Let's take the lead of uh, Mr. Van Hollen or Patty Murray in the Senate with, with uh, proposals that cut spending, increase revenue, create growth with jobs. 
feel that. Congressman Whitman, uh, listening to what Nancy Pelosi had to say, and there's so many points there, but let me talk to you about the drive-by mm -hmm. Congress because Speaker Boehner controls this schedule. You talk to everyday Americans on both sides and even in the middle of the political spectrum. They don't get it. They have to go to work every day. They don't understand why you folks aren't talking to each other. They don't understand why there's not progress. They don't understand why there's so many new conferences, frankly. How do you get this done? And even though... both sides. Well, I want to make sure that we are talking about, uh, as the president said, that balanced approach. I want to make sure we have that discussion about spending and making sure that we're here doing that. You know, I stood strong back in August when we were scheduled to go home for recess to say we need to stay in Washington then to get this done and through the September-October time frame. We need to stay here now also and get this done. I am adamant to say that there are enough good ideas out there about how we can address this reduction in the spending to make sure we have our budget on a track to make sure we address the deficit. I think that's critical. I do think that's the balanced approach. We've talked about the, the revenue side. That's been addressed. Let's sit down and have this serious discussion about the spending side. Let's make sure we get that done. Congressman Rob Whitman, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, Chris. Senators John McCain and Lindsey Graham.